3.5 beta is here, meaning we can try out all the new exciting features. And one of the ones I wanna share with you is called Light Trees Within Cycles. And what this does is make it so that cycles more optimally traces multiple lights within the scene. And this means that it will produce less noise at the same amount of samples with this feature turned off. The trade-off is that those samples will take a little bit longer to render. However, since I was able to lower my sample rate overall to get the same noise results, I ended up seeing massive savings on some renders, some rendering at about 50% faster than before. So let's dive in and take a look because I definitely noticed that this one has a bit of limitations and I wanna walk you through some of my discoveries. So to turn it on and off, you just need to come under here in your render tab properties and come down here to lights under sampling and you can click that on or off. And here, we can see I have a character example here. Now we're gonna walk through some of the kind of efficiencies and numbers that I found from this. First up being that I noticed it didn't work for all scenes. However, when focusing on singular objects, it did produce less noisier results. So here you can see my original M100 samples, and I'm gonna zoom in here because YouTube compression will kind of reduce a lot of this. And then if I do the light tree at 100 samples, you can see that it's produced less noise at the cost of a tiny bit increase in percentage time. I've seen about a 10 to 15% increase on some renders. And then if I come down here to light tree 50, you can see that that's almost the same as the original there. Now this scene's so small, you're not really going to save render time. So let's go and hop into a larger scene and see how it affects that. Taking a look at one of my larger scenes here, here I have a textured background with some pretty high quality 4K texture rendering throughout here. And then this is a large geometry node setup. And then there are a lot of HDR lights and sun lamps and this type of scene. And you can see here that the original rendered at 1000 pixels took me 20 seconds. And if I zoom in here, you can see that without denoising, I'm getting still quite a bit of noise in the fabric here and the rocks as well as down here on the paper texture as well. Now, if I switch over to the light tree, in this instance, you can see that despite still being at a thousand samples, it's still rendered more efficiently and took me down to about 15 seconds here. However, and it does have less noise in the rocks and the fabric as well. However, when I come down to the ocean, you see that now with the way it is sampling the lights, I am now actually getting more light spill from my purple horizon kind of sun lamp. And for me, that's not an issue in the scene. However, it did kind of change the look of the scene slightly. And I think that with denoising, this would come out. However, if I come down here to light tree at 600, you can see that it has actually cut my time here in half from 20 seconds to 10 seconds. And this is largely the same as the 600 sample version. So if this extra light spill doesn't throw you off too much and this scene, it could actually be quite a time saver to switch over and get to light tree 600 because if I zoom in here on the rocks, I'm getting about the same amount of noise I was at 1000 up here. So I was able to use about 400 less samples, cutting that down by about 40%, which is what I noticed. So lastly, I just wanna show kind of a problem area that I've noticed with the light trees and that it seems to be more prone to fireflies. So in this scene here, I have a four scene with volumetric lighting and it also has heavy HDRI lighting. And then a lot of these trees have a bit of a glossy sheen because I was going for a plastic look. And you can see that if I zoom in here on a thousand samples, this is about the noise rate I get. And if I switch over to light tree, the noise is actually less. And this time it didn't increase the render time at all. However, it's introduced a lot more fireflies. Now you can get rid of these by turning up your filter glossy or reducing your indirect lighting pass. However, that's going to affect the overall look of the scene more than I would care for. So in instances like these, I would maybe shy away from using Light Tree. That's how it, I found in my testing. Now, overall, this is an exciting new feature that can certainly save time on specific types of scenes, and I'm really grateful to have it. I'm curious if you think this will be useful for the type of work you do. Let me know in the comments below.